Hey, podcast nation. How you doing? It's a really nice Sunday fucking um, afternoon here, and I totally forgot it was stupid-ass daylight saving time, but hey, there's nothing to do. This is an easy podcast. All I gotta do is talk about what happened to your board week, and then read some wacky news stories, and try to come up with some bad jokes. It really is a podcast anybody can do, but like I said, go do it. I'll listen to it, but... In the meantime, I have uh, no plan to hit people up and ask people for stuff, because uh, that's what people want. They want you to validate them so they can treat you like crap, and I just uh, stay away from people. Which is why this is a comedy loader podcast, without that much comedy. Well, folks, uh, it started out Monday night at my open mic over at Wheaties. As expected, I had a bad turnout again. Uh, four comics. Um... Was there four or five? I think it was just four. Yeah, it was four comics this time. I think I had six a few weeks ago. Then I had five. Then I had four. So I guess the next one I'll have three. Uh, but pretty much this new female comic, she did bring two audience members. The show was over like in an hour. As you saw in the video, I dressed up. I put on my uh, old blue suit jacket, which doesn't really fit me, on my gut. And I had a wig and a glasses. I guess some sort of fat rock and roll character. And I did put up two. The only thing that came good from it, I gotta say, is two YouTube shorts. The one of the Josh Jack Network channel got 2,400 views, and I got five new subscribers, which will eventually unsubscribe for me. And then the other one on the uh, Josh Jack channel got about 900 views. So got some good views, not so much feedback and stuff, but at least I got something out of it, you know, better than nothing. And then, um, as far as I had to do a prank call show this week, um, I, I keep forgetting to write the numbers down. I've been mean, really lazy. Plus, it's been the same episode, but I definitely want to do an episode next week. I can't promise that. Uh, Wednesday, I went back to that rock and roll open mic, uh, music hobby open mic at the Royal. I did. Uh, I was the only comic to show up. This guy told me he was going to be there at my open mic, and he wasn't there. So I was the only comic to go up. I went on first. I got a good spot. I did write a set out this time. I think I did better last time than this time, but um, I had some you know musicians come up to me and you know tell me my set was good. I recorded it on my 4K camera, but I put the wrong set in, so it came out like crap. But whatever, I'm still trying to play around with that. And then uh, Friday night, I should have went to Old City on Saturday, but I didn't. I went to Old City on Friday night, and there was no video blog because it was dead as my dick. There was nothing really out there. I uh, did the same old same old. I fucking uh, went to Stowe's, I got a shot and a beer, then I got me a chicken cheese steak, I drank some water and stuff, I walked around, and I left early. I left like 10 o'clock, there was no point in me really paying for parking. And then Saturday night, I went to the uh, cabaret, and there was nobody there I really knew. I sat there pretty much by myself, talking to the bartender. He told me some juicy comedy gossip that it's too inside for this show, but pretty much it involves some of the... Uh, Younger comedians that used to go to my open mic that kind of turned their back on me. I put those guys on shows and stuff, and they kind of, you know, got, I don't know what they're mad about, but some juicy gossip that nobody really cares. But I hung out there pretty much last night, and as I was driving home, I had to take a piss of this shit. And I know this isn't a poop show, but man, thank God I made it home. And as far as today goes, it was a beautiful day. I got some errands done today. I went to the park. I shot some 4K footage uh, for nothing, really. Just played around with my camera, got a good uh, lunch in, and uh, that's pretty much that, folks. Um, I did some comedy this week. I got on stage twice for the first time in, uh, since two weeks ago. Um, the open mic is still going on. Um, it's a shame that, once again, I don't need that many more comics. If I can get a couple more, it'll be great, but I'm not going to bank people. There's certain comics that, you know, they want me to text them and call them and go, please, 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 please come to my open mic, please. And it's like, I'm not going to beg. You don't want to go, don't go. But um, anyways, folks, this is the first but yet worst comedy podcast in Philly. It is your favorite podcast show that most people will not listen to. And now it's time for your least favorite segment. But I like the segment because it might give me some jokes for my stupid stand-up act, even though as far as with the channel next week, I uh, I probably won't be getting any stage time. Um, I won't be going, I would go to that rock place once or twice a month because if I get a shitty spot, I'll be there at the end of the night. So as far as on the channel next week, hopefully some, uh, YouTube shorts, probably for some old stand-up videos, hopefully a prank call show, I can't promise that, and I don't know what else. But it's time to get to the odd news! A New Jersey, a New Jersey custodian performs sex acts with a school cafeteria objects. 
So the janitor was shoving a broomstick up his ass. That's not good for the kids. Thousands protested genocide at DC rally for Palestine. Tens of thousands condemned uh, Israel's military campaign in Gaza. The U.S. supported making it impossible. Cats make nearly 300 different, different facial expressions. Especially when you stick a pencil up their slit. Alright, that's terrible. I would never do that to a cat. Somerset get banned for wearing a gimp suit in public and crawling and winging and writhing on the ground for five years. Florida man cited for booty patrol trucks resemblance to a border patrol vehicle. That's awesome. I remember I used to go to this website. I think it was on Reality Kings. Where they would bang Mexican girls. It was called Border Patrol or something. So they spelled it differently. It's pretty cool. Uh, how to treat cancer. It says seven days fasted. What a water. I'm never going to get rid of cancer. I can't go fucking seven days without eating. I wish I could. Uh, vampires, Yetis, the Kraken. Here's what monsters could actually be real according to science. Grubhub driver claims delivered cup of urine instead of milkshake was an accident. How the fuck did that happen? He drunk the person's milkshake, he pissed in it, and he gave it to them. Fucking sicko. Careful out there, folks, with Uber Eats. Plus, they're expensive anyways. Enhanced Hulk. Artificial intelligence can now ID official geese. Be careful about AI, folks. That obviously can be dangerous. <laughs> See what I did there? All right. Tarantula sudden results in car accident in Death Valley National Park. Yeah, I would get into a car accident, too. I don't like spiders, especially ones that give you poison. The basketball star, the Crypto King, an $8.4 million mansion. NBA players sue it, a known home sale after a threatening visit from man seeking a crypto king. I read that for nothing. After reports of uh, gators in homes, experts warn gators aren't pets. No shit. They're fucking wild and dangerous species. Uh, Major Taylor Green roasted alive for making a silly video called Joe Biden a pedophile. That's not silly. He was a pedophile. He was sniffing that little girl's hair. Why some scary music and filters... She resembled some fairly normal video clips of Joe Biden calling him the predator, predator president. Well, I like her. That's a high school teacher on administrative leave that the students say he dressed up as the devil and hail Satan the students. What the fuck? You can't do that? That sounds like a cool teacher. Like, whatever happened to fun, you can't do shit for Halloween. You can't wear black makeup. You can't fucking dress up, dress up as the devil. Oh, it's okay to wear a Trump mask and run around like a retard, but come on, man. Mischief night antisocial behavior hits towns and cities in England. I didn't know England was doing that. DoorDash now wants you that your food might get cold if you don't tip. <laughs> no, you're not going to get your food, you dumb fucks. Second person to receive experimental pig heart transplant dies in only six weeks after procedure. Yeah, I don't think you should get the heart of a pig. Ottawa teacher suspended for two days after a confided student in locker. I think that's a good idea. If it's a kid's being an asshole, yeah, stick him in a locker. Fuck him. Why the urban legend of containing Halloween candy won't disappear? Damned in text, exposed plot of poison man's root beer float to get all of his hidden savings. CT man accused of using police lights so he get to work faster. That's a good idea. The creepiest places in all 50 states. Joe Biden's house is number one. School district considers official policy the biggest news from using non-existent litter boxes. One parent told the board she is embarrassed for elected officials who believe this is a true issue. The Army Corps of Engineers has a 2024 calendar of giant cats and infrastructure. Naked professional Baritone opera singer has been tasered. Oh my god. Oh, because he was naked. I guess he wasn't supposed to be naked. Okay, I was going to say, why would you taste someone who's singing beautiful music like that? Uh, Bay Area sued after she was allegedly served semen contaminated water. Wait, someone sued her? After she was served it? Oh. Large quantity. I can't read this. Ohio police asked finding thieves who stole an entire bridge. That's Grand Theft Auto shit. All right, folks, let's see what else we got before we wrap up this uh, fiasco of a podcast. FTX, fraudster Sam uh, Bankman f- 
Fried is facing 100 plus years in prison. Capitol prison officer issue a stark warning about Donald Trump's lies. What about Biden's lies? Elon Musk says, hey, I would eventually create a situation where no job is needed. Hopefully. Let's, let's get everybody on unemployment. Let the robots do all the work. Somerset man banned from wearing a gimp suit and writing on the ground. Internet calls for Major Greens after she shares proof. Um, some of these I read already. FBI Director Jordan, Palestinian National Arrested in Houston. Studying how to build bombs. Why can't I study something? What, is, what if I never use it? But I just want to read about it. If I read a book on how to fuck uh, little kids, I wouldn't read it. But what if someone wrote a book like that? Would you get in trouble for reading it? That's a good question to ask. Never mind. You know what? Don't listen to this show. Electrician, electronic wolves with glowing red eyes over Japanese landscapes. Um, Google Brain co-founder says big tech companies are lying about the risks because they want to dominate the market. Of course they're lying. A fucking robot can't do everything. Uh, claims um, about genuine age of Bobby, world's artist dog to be investigated. All right, folks. Well, this show's going to end early, and thank God, because there's not much really to it. But that is it. I'll see you folks on the next one. You just listen to, and we're out of here. Go fuck yourself, Cuffy. <laughs>